What's up, Gear America Nation? This is Chris coming to you from the Gear America studios nestled in the desert just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. And today I want to talk to you about mechanical advantage. I've got a bunch of stuff laid out. We're going to talk about some snatch rings, snatch blocks, winch rope, all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned. This one's going to be fun. All right, welcome back. So like I said, today I wanna to talk about mechanical advantage. Now, we hear a lot of things when it comes to winching and pulling and things like that, and a lot of times I hear people say, use a snatch block, it'll double the power of your winch. Now that's not altogether true. If you have a 13,000 pound winch, it will always be a 13,000 pound winch. It'll never be a 26,000 pound winch. Now what people mean by that is they're actually increasing the pulling power. They're increasing the power of your winch by creating a mechanical advantage. And that's where the snatch block comes in. A snatch block, like this Gear America 9 ton here, is just a pulley. And as everybody knows, a pulley is just a simple machine designed to make our lives easier. So we've got our 9 ton snatch block. And we run it through the pulley and it does just like it says, it's a pulley. So the primary function of a snatch block is to redirect force. Now when I say force, I mean that 13,000 pounds or 9,500 pounds or whatever your winch can exert. The force that you're putting on this winch line is getting redirected. So when you use a pulley, you're in one side and you're out the other. So redirecting the force is the primary function. Let's just put that into some easy terms here. I'm gonna put this back on the snatch block. And let's just say it's hooked up to something over here and we're pulling from this way. I'm pulling down on the snatch block this direction, but it's pulling down this direction. So I'm redirecting the force, right? Make sense? All right, secondary function of a snatch block. And this is why all of you own one is to increase the mechanical advantage of your winch. Notice I didn't say it's increasing the power of your winch because it's not, it's giving you a mechanical advantage. And how it works is if you take a snatch block and you run it from the winch and back to yourself, you're creating a mechanical advantage by reducing the winch line speed by half and using more force in different directions to accomplish your goal. So if I'm pulling right here, I'm the winch, I'm pulling in, I've got force pulling downward, but because there's always tension on the line, there's force pulling downward here. So you've got double the force. So if you're connected to yourself, your winch line speed is gonna be cut in half, but the force being exerted is going to be double. So if you were to put a scale on it, like if you were to connect a scale from your winch out to a snatch block back to your bumper, your winch might read that it's using 3,000 pounds of force but you're actually pulling 6,000 pounds of Jeep forward. Hopefully that makes sense. Now you can actually double and triple the mechanical advantage, which we say in all of our advertisements. So say we've got a nine ton right here and we've got one of our gold rings right here, which is just the, the newer version of a snatch block. I'm gonna take the soft shackle off of it. We're gonna set it right in line like this. So if this end here, is connected to a stationary spot, as is this one. This is your winch pulling it in, and this is connected to your bumper. When you pull on this, if you notice, this line speed is the fastest, this is the second fastest, and this is nice and slow. So you're cutting the line speed in half here, and then in half again. So you're giving yourself three times the mechanical advantage. So it may work a bit slower, but going slower and using the pulley to give you that mechanical advantage is what allows you to pull and use more force to pull yourself out. So if you're running a 9,500 pound winch and you're trying to pull out 12,000 pounds worth of stuck, then I would recommend using a snatch block or maybe even two. Now to gain the mechanical advantage, you need to be attached to the anchor points. So if you run two snatch blocks, you need to go from your rig to the anchor hook up a snatch block back to your rig where you've got another snatch block attached and back to the anchor point. So you've got two connections at the rig and two connections at the anchor point. Now, if you're just doing a change of direction, you're not getting a mechanical advantage. You're just changing the direction of the force. 
So using a snatch block to pull a buddy out of the mud when you're going one direction down a trail and he's coming up another direction is not going to give you mechanical advantage. If you want the mechanical advantage, you're going to have to go out to an anchor and back to yourself. Now that being said, if you went out to an anchor, back to yourself, and then to your buddy's rig, you would be getting a mechanical advantage and a change of direction all at the same time because you'd have to use a snatch block at your anchor, a snatch block back at your bumper, and then the line going out to your buddy. So you're reducing that line speed and increasing the force on the line. Now I've had people ask me questions, well, gosh, is that putting extra force on my bumper, extra tension on the line? Well, yes, it is, but it's spread out and it has a reduced speed. So things like this winch line, this is your, your standard winch line out there. It has, I want to say, a 30,000 pound braking strength on it. Now, that's the minimum brake strength. Workload limit is probably 12,000 pounds on this particular one. So if you're using a snatch block out to an anchor and back to yourself, and you're using a 9,500 pound winch at its max pull, you've got 19,000 pounds of force. So just as a quick recap, primary function of a pulley is to change direction of force. You're pulling from one direction, but it's lifting from another. Secondary, or the primary function of a snatch block, is to give you a mechanical advantage while you're winching. All the force is still there. The force is going out from the winch, around the snatch block, the force is coming out of the snatch block, back to the bumper, and there's force on the bumper. So you've got the snatch block absorbing some of the force. You've got the bumper absorbing some of the force. You've got the winch absorbing some of the force, but it's not all on the winch. It's spread out through the whole simple machine apparatus. It drops that line speed in half and reduces the stress on your winch. So that's how you gain a mechanical advantage from a snatch block. It doesn't perform a miracle and make your 10,000 pound winch a 20,000 pound winch, but it does give you a mechanical advantage so you can get out of those sticky situations. I hope this all made sense. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about it, feel free to leave them below. Be glad to hear from you. But for now, from the Gear America studios nestled in the desert just outside of Phoenix, Arizona, this is Chris signing off. And as always, off-road smart and tread lightly.